I got Jose! I did God, it! God, you did it right the fuck! God damn it, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that off in the uh, in the recorded version. Anyway. Hi, everyone! Guten <laughs> Tag. Oh, whoops, I, I forgot to bring the volume up, which is actually good, because right. Blaine Hell is screwed into the mic. I'm sorry. Um, welcome to the 29th episode of the Game Session Podcast. I'm your host, Jose, slash Seth Okage. This week, we are joined by Sarah, Mesa, Blaine. Hey! And Hi. we're also joined by, by special guest, our resident, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to mess up the way I wrote this, so I'm just going to read it verbatim. Let's see, where is it? Da -da -da -da. Where the heck did it go? Anyway, we're joined by CJ, our resident Halo novel enthusiast, Fire Emblem appreciator, and all-around lover of uh, BTS. How you doing, CJ? Jose, I asked you specifically not to mention that, but I'm going to be the model minority today and keep quiet and just <laughs> say hi. <laughs> <laughs> on, on this well, podcast, you can be as loud of a white person you want, CJ. <laughs> I mean, they haven't kicked me off yet. Doesn't matter if your opinion's fucked up. Just scream it. It's all good. You'll get a pass. Yeah, I, I I love white people. They 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 gave me my freedoms after oppressing me. You gotta respect them. <laughs> you you base you kind of owe them if you think about it. Exactly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Far Cry Six looks like you know it's, it's racist, but what can I? You know they that's how they see me. What can I do? I gotta change. <laughs> I'm the, <laughs> I'm the, <laughs> This is why I fucking love you. <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. Uh, Rick and Marole at the top of the show. Game Session Podcast is filmed live here on Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST. You can find it later on podcast services and on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments. I want to give a big shout out to my patrons, Ramen Nomad, Sly, Fourth Big Boss, and Bo. Uh, and shout out to Twitch subs Canny Unplugged, Ramen Nomad, King Cory Bear, Chai Bum, J Newbie 666, Aztec God, Nitro, Atma, I'm sorry, Atma, and uh, Lerv. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. So this is going to be the big E3 show, and CJ is going to be here with all of the best opinions that I will have no qualms with whatsoever on any front. Well, that remains cool. to be seen. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, before we go in and jump into it, though, CJ. Who the fuck are you? For people who don't know who you are. Um, I hate talking about myself. I am a... Well, first, I'm a member of a over an official um, Super Deluxe Games cast at SDGC. Um, go go follow those guys. I love them. Uh, good collective of, uh, you know, progressive and, like, forward-thinking um, games people. Today, we just did a bunch of... They, we, they did a bunch of reactions to E3 stuff. I was on the uh, Microsoft one. And I had a good time. Uh, they live stream like a podcast every Thursday, and then they have other things. Check out my bio mutant review with them. I also write over at GameCritics.com. I have well over sixty reviews published in the last year. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's I I I I, I kind of do it all, or I kind of have to. If you want, you can end that out with a dab. I'm not going to do a dab. I'm not going to do a dab. I can't. I can't move in the shirt. <laughs> um. Yeah, you, you are by far one of the hardest working people I know, and there, there's no fucking shadow of a doubt that something great is just going to be right around the corner for you. Hell yeah. Um, see, Ramen Nomad says, yes, model minorities rise up, Fire Emblem gank. <laughs> uh, CJ is a Halo lore enthusiast, first and foremost. Uh, also an amazing writer, but you know, he's got his priorities in place, I guess. <laughs> Um, let's see, so we're not going to be talking too much about what we've been playing. This is mostly the E3 show, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, uh, so, so what, what, what we're basically going to do, we're going to go down the list in terms of like what, what stuff was announced from basically when Jeff Keighley's thing popped off to, um, to, to Microsoft's. I don't know if anyone watched a PC gaming show. It's kind of whatever. I did not. I yeah. did not either. PC gaming's for losers. Whoever owns a PC should just get a Mac. There you go. That that's your I that's mean, your real facts. PC. Big facts right here. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Come on, let's I play Portal. <laughs> let's so, go play Portal. So this this is primarily all in the, in order of when this stuff was announced. If I, if I happen to miss anything, feel free to go ahead and, and put it in there to bring it up. Um, we don't necessarily have to go off and talk about every little thing, only if it interests you. Because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of announcements, and we got two hours or so. Uh. Battlefield 2042. Uh, 
it's it's the new battlefield and it's and it's big it's got 128 people and it's not world war one or two so you actually get really cool shit in it so by default i'm pretty interested in it absolutely yeah, same and grappling hooks and and uh, wingsuits everything That's cause everything is better with grappling hooks by fucking default game of the year I remember playing 2040, 2142 or whatever it was, like way back in the day in high school with a friend. He had a LAN set up, and I don't know if we did bots or if we went online together, but like, this is probably the first time I've seen like a Battlefield game and actually been like, holy shit, I actually really want to play this. Like, since then, just getting to play that on PC and realizing, well, my computer's not good enough, so I'm never going to play this again. Mm hmm. But, um,. Yeah, I, 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 the last Battlefield I was really into was Battlefield 4, but even then it was kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, I think I'm definitely in like the right mind space to jump into it, get a get a crew of people, make, make some horrible plans with CJs. We're storming a building, he gets gunned down, and then I'm just kind of hiding in a corner trying to survive. But uh, yeah, they had some cool shit. They had, um, or I guess they technically showed this gameplay part at the Xbox showcase. We can kind of jump back and forth between if the same game was shown multiple times. But there's you're going between like buildings with um with zip lines across, mm -hmm. and then there there's a <laughs> they made they made fun of the um I, we don't have to go too big into it, but you know the whole discourse just like oh why is there a woman in Battlefield Five? That's unrealistic. Meanwhile, you have in this in this very trailer a dude jumping out of a plane, grabbing a rocket launcher, shooting down the plane, and then landing back in his before he takes off. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. Come on, Jose. I it's I didn't see the height. <laughs> I didn't see the summer game. I, did, I didn't see like most of the summer game fest stuff. But like, I think one of my favorite things from the Xbox showcase trailer of it was when like they get they have to get they have to avoid a storm, so they go into an elevator and it takes them to the very t the rooftop. And while they're on the rooftop, someone like I I don't know if they jumped off the last second or if they just straight up like launched off with it. But they wrote a like a moped, not a moped, a um, like, like an ATV. ATV. Yeah, an ATV off the roof jumped off i guess the last second and they had c4 on it and mm -hmm. as it collided with uh an enemy plane or copter or whatever they just blew it up it was amazing i, oh, yes. I love like, that's something i would do if i yes. was playing the game i love doing stupid shit like that i i can't fucking wait how many times playing like halo 4 or halo wherever they whenever they introduce the mongooses would you just literally jump off and let that like drop into people and try to blow it up as it like, came by them <laughs> Um, one slight note for it, and I, it's just going to become more of a recurring thing as we move into the generation with games uh, beginning to cost more money. Typically up to this point, it's been Sony first party, uh, some 2K sports games, and um, what was the other one? Call of Duty. Um, yeah. I, I, I think it's a weird pricing model when so so the next gen, ver well, quote unquote, next gen versions of this game are going to be $70, but the PC version is still going to be 60. It's a bit of a weird yeah, dichotomy that's there. That's just kind of transparently going like we are artificially trying to get you used to a new price because fuck you, we say so. Basically, and the, the no PC people are going to make much more of a, a fit about it. Oh, yeah. The game's going to get pirated either way, but they know that that's just going to be even worse if they actually tried to raise it to that $10. Do you think if they pirate it, they get uh, Jack Sparrow DLC too? What was that? <laughs> Yeah, no one ever blamed Ghost Silent. It's either like Jesus fucking Christ, Jose, or or it's just uh, like I'm because, holding. <laughs> because what you could because I understand you're making a reference to what we're talking about, but I'm like, well, an actual good pirate would be like the Dread Pirate Roberts. So why didn't you go with that? That's my criticism to you. Because I'm because I'm not a pirate nerd. Do you just say that, and I think of the Silk Road dude, which is terrible. Oh my! I, God. I, I'm based and only cite Disney characters, which is terrible. Yeah. Face and mouse build. Um, I, think, you know, I, I, I talk about this a lot. Um, maybe follow me on Twitter. All I, um, the last, the, the the first time I really got into a shooter was like, or like recently was like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. It made me miss like modern military shooters, and then seeing like the last two Battlefield games go back in time, you know, kind of disappointed me. Um, so th this this is like a perfect evolution, especially now that I know that Sledgehammer is doing the next Call of Duty, so I'm probably not going to enjoy it as much as uh, I, I would the other ones. Um, th this is going to be my jam. This is probably where I'm going to spend most of my time in October, November, December, um, even next to Halo Infinite. Like th this is this is basically it. This is like my most anticipated game of 2021. I'm kind of surprised it's even happening, honestly. 
Like, I never would have thought, hey, we're going to do, like, a follow-up to this game that only PC players were able to play, like, 25 years ago. Or 20 years ago, however long it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I guess it's not... We don't have to go super far deep down this line of thought, but uh, no campaign. Yeah. Which, Battlefield... I don't care. Aside from from bad company games, uh, Battlefield hasn't really had a good campaign. So, I, I, I don't give a shit. Battlefield one and five had 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 decent ones. Like they're better to look at than they were to play. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think Dice needs to make campaigns anymore. Uh, I I thought you meant the original Battlefield for a second. I was like, wait, didn't they like not have multiplayer? No, 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 no. Yeah, talking about the World War One. <laughs> yeah, confusing, the confusing naming scheme. All right, we're yeah. gonna call this one Battlefield One, and then the next one Battlefield Five. I'd, I'd Battlefield rather than just original series one. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather them just put like all their resources into. The thing that people actually give a shit about Battlefield 4 versus like something that's like at best okay. Yeah. Like it's weird. I'm in that same thing of like like Sarah, where it's like if there's no campaign, I'm not quite as interested because I always prefer a campaign. But at the same time, like y'all and others have said, like if that means they get to focus on the thing they're good at, if that means also if that's like what the fan base at its core wants, which from what I've literally every person I've seen that actually has played these games for years has said to me has been like, no, this is the best way. We don't want a campaign, honestly. We want mm-hmm. a, a better multiplayer setup. No. And I also, don't... oh, what's up, Sarah? Sorry. No, I was I was just gonna say I played Call of Duty for the campaign. I don't touch Battlefield because all I've heard is that their campaigns aren't very good. So yeah. Uh-huh. There's well, no, and like, like I like this like this looks cool, and I'm happy for those who play Battle Battlefield because like I gotta say the whole like tornado happening in the middle of like a giant 152 person game sounds like a lot of fun but like it's i go i call it i use call of duty for my dumb who rob military shooter campaigns like i don't that and speaking of for other people and speaking of call of duty like i think i actually like the idea of like you know we're doing a far future thing so instead of having to do that whole like okay how can we quote unquote big air quotes tastefully but it's often never tastefully like rep- re- reproduce like actual worldwide conflicts now or like you know mm-hmm. do that thing where this is totally not military american military propaganda but it's totally american military propaganda instead this way you have your way, a way of doing like okay it's more modern and you get to have those sensibilities mm-hmm. but it also doesn't feel like it's just outright propaganda yeah you get there's to a have fun there's, there's a disconnect some, here which is nice yeah there's still some like story stuff they're trying to do but it's like it's not going to be like a main like facing uh forward facing narrative but they got a little bit of a, in a um they got in the hot seat a little bit about saying like this is totally not political and then they're using like refugees and like a world hell yeah uh fucking they're climate control climate, climate apocalypse yeah. map yeah. but there's no politics here hell hell yeah. politics. 